Hey, Rich Radio is the voice of DJ Scream on your airways. Moran is here. Special guest up in the building. Family yes. in the building. Wale is here. Welcome the back. hit maker, Wale yes. is yes. here. Yes. The hit maker. The hit maker. The hit Congratulations maker. again, sir. Thank, thank you. Um, I guess. <laughs> thank you. How's right. everything going for Wale? Before we even get all um, industry and everything. I'm good. I'm just you know working on my, my album um, that that we gonna announce the date. Okay. Soon, uh, you know, and we're gonna I'm just, get the album this year. I'm just, yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm just touching. I'm just touching the people right now, and um, you know, I'm staying out the way, doing what I gotta do. Okay, mm. for sure. So Wale is happy. Uh, I mean, I'm always happy. I'm, I'm happy. working. Wale's working. being humble. I'm working. <laughs> I don't even know what y'all are saying, <laughs> but nah, I'm, you know, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing the work, as they say. Okay. So, 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 how, how uh, is there any pressure going towards this album? Hearing other people's albums. Oh um, no! Nah, it's been a little while since you put out an album. I think, What's your I'm, approach? I think I'm the. I think I'm one of the best people to ever do this. That's just my opinion okay. on myself. Okay. Okay. I ain't worried about nobody else's album. I support my my brothers. Like Dirk just dropped the Dave Ross. Mm-hmm. Been the drop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, like artists that I'm listening to, like a Lucky Day. You know, Meek album was very dope. You know, mm-hmm. uh, even with Drake just dropped his his his, his B sides. Like, I listen to him, but I just you know I'm not. I'm not like like oh I gotta top this now. I already mm. I know what I'm doing and I don't think nobody's doing what I'm doing mm. for sure. Mm. How did On Chill come about? Uh man, I mean I write every day. You know what I'm saying I wrote that joint like maybe a year ago for real. Okay. So we was just waiting on on when to when to when to start the process of the album. Was it inspired by anything like personal? Um, just... well everything that I make is like kind of like um, it's kind of based on like reality. Mm. When that whole album comes out. Um, you might be able to figure out who I'm talking about in certain situations because I dropped some clues in there, here and there. That's what it is. That's what it is. And we saw you were at the uh, Washington Redskins training camp the other day. Yeah. Tell us all about that. How was that? It was hot. It was like 105 degrees out there. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, <it> Literally. <laughs> hot outside. But, um, you know, I was, you know, my, my heart is still very much invested in football and mm-hmm. sports as a whole. But, um, you know, Football has got a, sp- a special place in my heart because that's you know I learned a lot of my discipline and I learned a lot about mm. you know teamwork and you know having and being positive and trying to have a good attitude about things. I learned a lot of that from football, so mm. it was just good to be out there and, and, and rap to some of my friends on the team. Go. So, so how you think y'all gonna do this year? Uh, well, we'll do good. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, think, do you get happy? Good. You keep it a bug. Do you get happy when you see like? Oh, the Cowboys having problems with Zeke and the other people in the oh, division man. having problems. I want Zeke to get his money. <laughs> he definitely do. Oh, wow. I, want Zeke, I want Zeke to get his money, and I want him to be happy because he's a friend of mine, even though he, he he's the ops during the season. <laughs> right, 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 right. Another thing that's been going on, I wanted to talk to you about um, so many mass shootings going on. There's actually been more mass shootings than days this year. What's your thoughts on that and some of the things that maybe we could do even before the political level to kind of correct that? Um, see, I don't really know. I just think, you know, it starts at the top. So we leave it at that. Because, I mean, I know anything that I say can be twisted in all types of ways. But, I mean, everybody, it's, it's, it's blatantly obvious what's going on. And I just think it starts at the top. Mm. And we all know who's in that position. And, mm. you know, we know who put him in that position. And that, is, that certainly wasn't us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it starts at the top. You think we're going to do what it takes next year to... Uh, rid him of the position? I can't call it because a lot of people don't take things seriously and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are still very ignorant to how things are really working out here, so mm-hmm. I really can't call it. Like, you know, nobody thought he would have got it the first time. Mm-hmm. Like, Big surprise, right? Mm-hmm. As a D.C. native, what's it like with him in the White House? He, we don't feel his presence at all. He, mm-hmm. don't, he don't even be in there, mm-hmm. for real. I don't, he, probably, he probably can count on one hand how many times he actually been in that joint. Mm-hmm. He been doing God knows what and you know in golf courses and you know you know poly and on some other stuff. So he don't, we don't associate him with with DC for real or like the White House. At least it's our, our side of DC don't. Right. Mm-hmm. Another thing, um, the big wave of Afro beat music. Like, how does that feel? Because you were doing like Afro beat collaborations, 2012, 2011, like way before. A lot, I love to see anything that's just generating revenue for in, in DC, I mean, in um, Nigeria and mm-hmm. Ghana, Ethiopia and all of Africa. Anything that's generating revenue and, um, you know, spiking the interest of of, of, of tribal music or otherwise mm-hmm. is, is good for the culture, it's good for our people. Will you we know hear some saying? of those collabs on the album? Um, we got some things that are in, in that realm, but I, I wouldn't say it's uh, directly Afrobeat, but, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, the, the hard drive stay ready. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's real. For sure, for sure. And, and album mode. Everybody always says they're in album mode. What does Wale's album mode consist of? It never stop. You never stop. You're I'm always in album mode. Listening never to stop. listening to samples and just, just, I mean, even when I try to stop, it don't. It doesn't necessarily stop. It might just be like, all right, um, I think I'm not working, but something might catch my ear, and I'd be like, what's that? Oh, mm-hmm. we, we should sample this. Or, oh, it just hit me that maybe I should make this second verse shorter. And then make the intro longer, or like whatever. It just come to me at random times. So mm-hmm. as long as I'm making music, I'm always gonna essentially be in album mode. Mm-hmm. How would you describe your overall hip, um, your overall impact in hip hop? Because it's 2019. That's you- probably for other people to to say because I, I really wouldn't know. Like I'm too close to it. You sure? I am it. I mean, I don't know. Like it wouldn't. You know, a lot of people are gonna say who they. You know, blah blah blah. Like a lot of people say things when I'm in the room as opposed to when I'm not in the room. So mm-hmm. I really couldn't say. I, I don't know. My influence. I might have influenced the person that they are influenced by. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I really, I, I couldn't say. Sometimes I think it is, but it's like you know, you know, you hear what people say, speak their mind, and then you know they they mention other people. So I just be like, all right, well, it's up to the people to decide who who influences them. Translation. He he inspired fashion. Yeah. He inspired sneakers. He was on Double XL right. ten years ago, and you still here. His mm-hmm. bars is crazy. Double XL. A lot of freshman. times people see your bars go over their head. Absolutely. So it's kind of like. Some of the people, like you say, they 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 can't decipher it. Then two years later, oh, Wale said this. Is that something? Well, my second album is gonna be Baby Shark. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Humble Wale in the building. All shark. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, man. So what else you been doing in your spare time, man? We know you love football. We know we love fashion. We know you're in album mode. We know you're recording. That's pretty much it. Is there any new hobby? Fortnite. No, uh, no, no, no. I play like I play like Madden and stuff like that, but nothing like not like not a whole lot. Um, I've been working on this this album and just just getting some things right and just mm. I mean for real just focusing on the art for real. how do you size down when you have so many records how, like has it been difficult to size it down always it's always like that um, that's one of the the, the, the the gift and the curse about writing so much and being in the studio so frequently because you never know you know I might feel different five, five months from now than I do right now, and mm-hmm. some things, some songs might be harder to 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 feel on that level. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't know. Like, you know, I mean, that, that's that's. I mean, I started, I started like trying to cut down this joint maybe like maybe like five months ago, mm. but it changes every day. It's like I'll be like, man, I feel it this way. Oh, this matters right now. Or this goes with the story better now. Like, it, it's, it's just always going to be like that. Mm-hmm. Always. So how often do sample clearances become an issue with some of your joints? I know, like, I know, like, Girls on Drugs, mm-hmm. the, the Janet Jackson <clears throat> sample, that was a headache, for real, because we had to change the song, take the cuss words out, and wow. some more stuff. Um, it's another joint on Album by Nothing that was like that, too. Um, but, like, that kind of showed me, like, I, like if I'm starting to really get into a song in the studio, I start asking about how I, the sample clearance before I even write the second mm-hmm. verse or, mm-hmm. you know, complete it all the way. Because I'm like, man, I'm not trying to fall in love with this song. I have to change it. Mm-hmm. But we had that with Gemini, too. We sampled the song that we couldn't get cleared, and I changed the beat. Nobody would ever know because I changed the, the tempo and everything and, and re-wrapped it. But that was a problem on that record. That's another. That's a. That's another record we're gonna ask you about Gemini because a lot of females tweeting us calling us. It was Gemini season. Mm-hmm. What inspired that record? Uh, it was just, it was a girl that I was I was talking to for a while and she was just difficult a little bit and then I started like learning about it because if I can't figure it out I don't know I ain't know none of her friends like that to really so I really was like all right let me just try to understand like. What did the stars tell me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was kind of spot on though with, with who she is as a person. But mm-hmm. you no, know, it was just a learning experience. But I also like you know wanted to document that moment in my life because it was unique to me because I was like I, I couldn't figure it out. And would you, would you, would you say that's an overall positive experience? Yeah, it was great, all, all the way positive, all yeah. the way. You ain't gonna you only gonna you don't you don't fall in, you don't fall deeply in love with everybody you meet. Like sometimes you just meet people. It's a, it's a, it's a season. It's over and then. They move on, and you learn from it. Y'all be cool, right. you know. And I think that that some some good art still can come out of it, though. True, though. What was it like working with Megan Thee Stallion? Uh, great. You know what I'm saying? I, I met her, and when I, when I met her, like instantly, I was like, oh, she 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 been here before. Like she know what she doing. And um, you know, we talked in the studio. Like we both were surprised how other, how the other person was. Like we just been really really tight friends like since the moment we met tight you know what i'm saying and you know i just met her team and you know um 
God rest her soul, Holly, like her mother, mm-hmm. like her, like that was so it was so dope when meeting both of them because I remember just playing around like I can't say some of these raps in front. I don't. Right. Like, my mom's here. She was like, boy, like oh, man. My yeah, mama yeah. used to rap. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't even know that back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, no, nah, Shawty just she just a, she's a special like like spirit. Her energy is is special. Like she's definitely not like um a lot of people that I've like met in the industry. Like she she motivates you to. Get up, do some, have some fun, like you know what I'm saying. Like we ain't about to be sad all day, type stuff. So she, she, she a real one. Do you ever get the joking, or do you hit her and let her know that the hot boys is up? I always, we always play like that. We play like that all the time. Oh yeah, after this trouble, she can't tell her though. You can't tell her that they look like she don't. She ain't trying to hear that. No matter what. She's the leader of the movement. Yeah, I told I said earlier today, but she ain't trying to hear that. They always up in her in her eyes. It's never you can tell her like she never. I've never, I've never really seen her. Uh, mad or upset or nothing. She yeah. she just you know I know I've known she been mad, but she's just highs as well. She not. Yeah. So like, when I talk about that hot boy hacker, she's like we we uh, stop playing. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Collaboration with Jeremiah on this one, man. Are there any collaborations? Of course there are, but what's some of the collaborations that you feel like you still got to make happen? Uh, I don't really know because I mean you know I go by off the vibe like how I vibe with somebody like. The time and the place, if we, you know, the stars align, we're going to get it in. Like, I don't really, it's never like, oh, we got to do something with this person. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but, I mean, I know there's a lot of women in, um, in R&B and rap that I would love to, like, you know, do records with just to have a certain dialogue that mm-hmm. that we couldn't, they probably couldn't explore with other artists because I get a little bit more detail mm-hmm. into it. But, um so you said women, female yeah, artists like yeah. I don't know Ella May, Summer Walker. Yeah, like ab- yeah, absolutely. They dope. They dope. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, everything happens in time. You know, I ain't gonna rush it. Like, you know, we'll, when, when the stars align, when things is right, I'm sure we probably could do something. Okay, absolutely. Finally, man, give us a, give us a little inkling of when the album. It, we talk, <laughs> when it gets cold, really cold. Not, it ain't gonna be too cold. It, it ain't gonna be too cold. That means soon. Yeah, that means so. it ain't gonna be too cold. And all. then, is this your best work? Today? It might still be summer. It might still be summer. That's the first time I said that. Today. <laughs> this Friday. It, well, nah, I ain't do that. <laughs> he said oh, that. I, I think mean, he would let Ross. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's a super important album coming out this Friday, and it's not mine. Up. Yeah, that's 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 that Port of Miami too. Everybody says my best work to date, but what se- what just separates you? You feel like this album from your your previous? Um, efforts? I think it's just like it, it's it's way more um it's more personal. Um, when I'm taking it there about my life and stuff like that, it's just it's just it's uncut for real. It's just really really raw. Like mm. you ain't gonna have to decipher too much. It's like right in your face. Like just what he's saying. Mm. Did he just say that? Yes, he mm. did. Did he say that? Well, oh, okay, yeah, I said it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get personal with Wale on this album, man. Well, we appreciate you pulling up the Hood Rich Radio, man. You know what I'm saying? The album is coming soon. And if they haven't already heard it, introduce your new record on Chill right here on Hood Rich Radio. Well, you just did. But nah, <laughs> nah um, this is my new joint on Chill featuring Jeremiah. Let's get it, man. Rock with me. New joint. Download it, stream it, request it. Bother these dudes when you see them in the street. Uh-huh. All right, there it is. It's 96.7 to be. Salute to Wale.